What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started with today's video, I want to remind you to make sure you always check the description below for extra information and tips. I got things down there like the Get Upside Gas app, which will help you make money each and every time you go to fill up your tank. Who doesn't like that, right? And most importantly, I have links to recommended dash cameras because I don't care if you're doing rideshare or not. You should have a dash camera ride around the road. Now remember, police will always take that dash footage and insurance if you get in an accident or something. Love that stuff for the simple fact it makes their job a whole hell of a lot easier. And I also want to remind you, if you do like the channel and like the content and everything else, make sure you give the videos a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications. And if you really enjoy the channel, you can also click the little join button and become a member. Obviously, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, it'd much appreciated. Now, today's video, guys, is holy crap. Uber is going to start mandating that passengers have to take a selfie to show that they have a mask on before ordering a ride. Now, how about that, right? Now, if Uber would only make passengers follow the same rules and everything else as drivers, you know, like providing real names and pictures and whatnot, that would make life a lot easier, okay? I strongly believe that Uber should have been doing stuff like this a long time ago, and hopefully this will help alleviate some situations of, you know, pulling up and having to deal with the thing of, you got a mask on? You got a mask? And they'd be like, yo, yeah, I don't want to do it, all that crap. Nobody wants to deal with all that. All that is is wasting our freaking time, okay? And obviously, if a passenger is going to waste our time, we deserve to be compensated. You're going to get a cancellation fee, and we're going to keep it moving. Wait five, cancel, collect, and drive. That's the motto to go by. And this hopefully will help stop, you know, some false reports. I highly doubt it, though, because they leave it up to drivers to snitch on the riders and vice versa, okay? And we all know how it is. If a rider reports on you first, odds are you're going to end up being probably deactivated or at least put on hold until some magical investigation goes down. But it says, since mid-May, Uber has required drivers to take selfies to verify they are wearing a mask or face coverings before they are able to pick up riders. Soon, certain riders will also be required to take a selfie prior to ordering a ride. The company said Tuesday, this Tuesday, who have previously been reported by a driver for not wearing a mask will be required to take a selfie for mask verification purposes when requesting their next ride. Now... If they have been reported on for not having a mask, hopefully that means that driver also did not take the ride, considering that, you know, goes against the TOS, the new things that are going down. But I do know for a fact, because I have seen it, that drivers are still giving passengers rides without masks because they don't really care. And if they don't care and the passenger don't care, who's to care then, right? But it just makes everything harder for the rest of us when they do get a driver that um, is following policy and wants to stay safe. It says the passenger mask verification feature is slated to roll out in the U.S. and Canada by the end of the month. So by the end of September, every market should end up having this where passengers have to do this. It says enforcement of mask use as remitted by Centers of Disease Control and Prevention to help slow the spread of the virus has proven to be difficult in both public and private spaces. Obviously, because there's a lot of people out there that just don't give a crap about anybody else's safety at all and think it's all a hoax. Well, the joke's on you guys, because it's not, okay? Wear your damn mask. Is it that hard? It's, it's not really hard. In Ubers and Lyfts, riders have had to confirm they are wearing a mask or face coverings before hailing a ride for several months now. But enforcement has come down to being reported by a driver. Obviously, because <laughs> who else is going to know? We don't have some little guy sitting in the car all the time, like, verif you know, verif verifying everything, patting them down or whatnot. We don't have anything. It all becomes what a driver says. And that's why I tell you guys, have a dash cam, because then it's just not your word versus theirs. It's your footage versus whatever BS they try to say on you. They say, we firmly believe that the accountability is a two-way street. <laughs> Uber's global head of safety product in the blog post. Now, obviously, it should be a two-way street. It should always have been a two-way street, but we all know that has not been the case. Passengers should be required to follow the same rules that drivers have to. But it says, if a passenger's next ride goes off without a hitch, they will not have to take a selfie again the next time they go to request a ride. Now that, I think, is crap, okay? That doesn't work that way for a driver. As soon as we go online, you have to take that picture for a mask. If you go offline, to go back online, what do you have to do? Take another picture that you have a mask on, okay? And I strongly believe that riders and passengers both should have to wear a mask, both should have to wear a picture, both should have to provide real names and everything else, but obviously in the last part, doesn't matter what I think. 
It says the mass verification selfie for both drivers and riders uses object detection technology to determine whether a person is wearing a mask. Which I hate to say it, but their technology kind of sucks for simple fact. I've seen people go like this, take a picture. You go like this, take a picture. And it would still work, okay? Even on the driver's side. I don't recommend drivers doing that, but sad to say, I have seen it work. And it says... In May, it was easier to initially implement the selfie mechanism for drivers because of its real-time ID check and in-app feature that has been available for years and prompts drivers to take a selfie to compare biometric information to verify their identity. Which you guys all know, sometimes randomly out of the blue, you would go to go online and it would say, take a picture of yourself. And that is the simple fact of making sure that you are the correct driver on the correct account. Okay, people, multiple people can use the same vehicle, but you have to have separate accounts. That's just how it goes. Okay, you don't even have to own the vehicle, but you have to be on the insurance part of it. But other than that, need your own damn thing. You have to have your own account. It says for both riders and drivers, repeated violations of Uber's policies could lead to deactivation. But the company declined to go into detail regarding how many violations contribute to a removal. So you could get... Report it on just once and get deactivated. You could get reported on multiple times and get deactivated. Either way, I'm sure they're not going to tell us exactly about that because it's all about the money in the end. Let's just face it, guys. <laughs> all these years have gone by, what, 10 years now have gone by, and we all know they don't they don't care too much about safety. They like to think they do. Um, they've even had the new things like pin the pin process put in there where you have to have verification of pins. Um, they've gone so far now as in Jersey, we actually have to provide this little thing right here. We have to have this little card in our windows to help have extra, you know, details that show that we're us. And they had this little, little thing here where you would scan, which I don't know how they scan that. I haven't seen anybody do it yet. I haven't heard much talk about it after it's been implemented. But there's so many extra features in there that, if a passenger would just pay damn attention to their app, look at their freaking phone, match everything up, there would be no issues. If it doesn't match up, don't get in the car. It's very simple. Use your freaking common sense. But they say we have definitely taken action, including taking people off the platform, both from the rider and driver side. <laughs> the company also said it has allocated $50 million to purchasing supplies like masks, gloves, hand sanitizer, disinfectant sprays, and wipes for drivers. It said that it has given out 10 million mask wipes and sanitizers to more than 750,000 drivers and delivered people in the U.S. and Canada to date. Now, a lot of people have gotten these. A lot of other drivers have not. I don't know how it, how it works, really. I never, I never got anything, but I'm part-time, so maybe I don't drive enough for them to send it to me. I don't know. But they said the company said on July 1st that its mask requirement in the U.S. and Canada would be effective indefinitely, which, so far... Since July, it has. Drivers have to wear a mask. Passengers are supposed to wear a mask. So hopefully now, this new uh, feature, as you want to say, will help make it a little easier that drivers don't have to worry about it. But it does say in here about third-party rides, which happens a lot and is most of the rides that are out there. It says whoever is actually going to be taking the ride needs to take a selfie, which I'm kind of curious. If somebody else is ordering it for you and they're not there, how the hell are you going to be the one taking a selfie? How they're going to make it work? I don't know, but supposedly they're going to. But either way, in the end, even after all this, it's all BS because it's going to depend on if the driver's going to say something or the rider's going to say something. And we all know each ride is totally different. You never know who you're going to get, how they're going to be. You don't know anything. It's all a gamble. All you can do is hope for the best and hope that uh, it goes well and you don't crap out. But let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that this new feature is going to work? Do you think that they should be adding other features in there, especially, like I said, making passionate provide real names, photos, I, you know, photos? Um, they should actually stop the third-party rides, in my opinion, unless that person is on their account as well. Because we all know how that can be. Sometimes a third-party ride will take the ride, and then what? All of a sudden, they'll take your money back. You go to look at it, and you're like, what the hell? What happened here? Why, what? Why am I not getting my money? And I'm like, oh, because you took the wrong rider. No, 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 no. I didn't take the wrong rider. Okay. They wanted to go exactly where the GPS told me would to go. So how the hell did I take the wrong rider? That's what I'd like to know right there. Unless these people just happen to want to go to the same place. Come on now. Use your common sense, Uber. You know, people are out there scamming you, trying to make millions and millions. And uh, you guys just don't even care. You don't even care. You should always listen to a driver first. And that's why I say... 
anything bad happens, they should contact a driver first, get their side of the story before all of a sudden just magically deactivating them after this so-called investigation. But again, that's my opinion. But all right, guys, again, let me know what you think about this down below. As always, be safe, use your common sense, don't take crap from anybody, but obviously, don't go out and start it. And until next time, guys, put your damn mask on or don't and get to walking. Peace out.